Hindustan Aeronautics and DRDO is working on a new configuration of Tejas Mark 1A aircraft, that will be a dedicated electronic warfare variant, and will later be proposed to the Indian Air Force. Hindustan Aeronautics has also released a tender for developing a mock-up model of the new configuration to a private sector firm, that will be used for wind tunnel testing. It will be equipped with a modified advanced self-protection jammer pod developed by the DRDO, that will feature gallium nitride technology along with digital radio frequency memory. The nose radium and air scoop projection of the modified advanced self-protection jammer pod will be optimized in order to reduce the supersonic drag. The new electronic warfare Tejas variant will also be equipped with the Rudrum 1 new generation air-to-surface anti-radiation missile for suppression of enemy air defenses from large standoff distance, for destroying enemy surveillance radars tracking and communication systems. The DRDO's aeronautical development establishment has invited bids for the assembly of another airframe of SWIFT technology demonstrator, that will be the third airframe of the SWIFT UCAF. The first and second airframes have already completed high-speed taxi trials in August 2021 for the Air Force variant, and there is a speculation that this third airframe will be tested for naval configuration. There were reports that the Indian Navy is already engaging with the development team that is in charge of developing autonomous stealthy unmanned combat air vehicle for the Air Force, and is conducting studies to explore options for the development of carrier-based autonomous stealthy UCAF for naval requirements. At a time when the FA-18 is yet to demonstrate ski jump capability from Indian Navy's shore-based test facility at INS Hansa in Goa, the US media has reported that a deal between Boeing and the Indian Navy seems likely, as the FA-18 Super Hornet is emerging as the top contender to supply the Indian Navy with 26 carrier bond fighter jets worth $4.6 billion. It also reported that Boeing enjoys a distinct advantage of being able to integrate the operated F-414 enhanced engines, that generate a thrust of 116 to 120 kN, and the powerful engines could enable it to offset the payload limitations inherent in snowbar carriers, thus providing it an edge over the Rafael M. India has already selected General Electric to deliver 99 F-414 engines for its upcoming Tejas Mark II aircraft. That means that the logistics to support the engines are further simplified. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has been working on the development of the Cats Warrior Autonomous Stealthy Unmanned Aerial Vehicles program for the Indian Air Force, and as per latest reports, the Cats Warrior system has started detailed wind tunnel tests. The program is on track, and the Air Force variant of the Warrior drone will be ready by 2024. HAL will also be developing an army variant, that will have different missions profiles and weapons package. Hindustan Aeronautics has integrated 12.7mm gun pod system on the Dornier 228 aircraft, that will replace the existing 7.62 machine gun pods on more than 150 Dornier 228 aircraft and will significantly boost its capability for territory surveillance and border protection tasks. The External Affairs Minister will be on a visit to the Philippines from 13 to 15 February, to oversee the recently signed $374.96 million BrahMos deal between the two countries. Philippines is looking to procure seven advanced light helicopters, eight Dornier aircraft and larger orders for helmets and bulletproof jackets from MKU Limited, while Philippines Army will push for BrahMos missiles in a separate deal in 2023. Indian Army's Western Command carried out a combat engineering training, to validate operational preparedness of the service. It involved construction of temporary bridges, installations and other necessary support assets. The exercise saw participation of personnel and vehicles, associated with teams who specialize in offering effective engineering solutions to the force in the battlefield.